This is an apple. That is also an apple. Well, there's a problem with these computers. They're completely overpriced. And unfortunately, I've had to purchase an external SSD twice. And I'm going to need a third one to back this up. So that's a long story for another time. But anyways, unfortunately, this computer is getting old. And a lot of the keys are, as you can see, falling off. And yes, there's a problem with uh, Apple's butterfly keyboard. They're actually getting sued for it. But regardless, I wanted to purchase a Windows computer. I've decided I need to purchase a Windows computer and later on I'm able to get another Mac used for one program in particular and that's Final Club, Final Cut. <laughs> because that's good for editing and that's about the only reason I actually like Apple. So I want to get a Windows, but unfortunately, hmm, I was thinking about maybe building my own desktop to save money. A GPU, a CPU, and a pretty good motherboard are necessary. And unfortunately, that's not good news for me and thousands of gamers, crypto miners, everybody who's forced to purchase from NVIDIA and AMD. So today we're discussing about NVIDIA making a whole bunch of money in AMD and all these companies that have been profiting from the pandemic, from everything that's been going on, from crypto going up. And that's not a great thing for the end consumer. You know why? Because if we go to NVIDIA, we see out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of blah, blah, blah. So you've probably seen that everywhere. Right? This product is temporarily out of stock because of high demand. You know what? It's in such high demand, actually, that on almost every single reselling group that you can find on Facebook, on Discord, on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, people are reselling these graphics cards for a whole bunch of money. So it's not only that the prices are actually increasing and it's becoming rare, but it's even more expensive than you see here because these prices weren't there before. So obviously this is one of the best graphics cards of late, but any graphics card that you choose to input, you will see that it used to be a lot cheaper and especially all these old ones, suddenly they're increasing, the price is increasing. And if a GPU and a CPU prices are increasing, that also means that Custom builds and pre-built builds and laptops and pretty much everything is going up in value. So today we're discussing about why prices for graphics cards, motherboards, CPUs, computers, everything that's affected by this is in turn going up. And it's mainly in the U.S., but this is happening all over the world as well. So not only on Newegg, but also, as you can see, one left in stock and really expensive. And this is a pre-built computer, but if you have... Four left in stock, five left in stock, only one left in stock, only eight left in stock. You're going to see a lot of this. Only a few left in stock or it's out of stock or something's happening. You go to Best Buy, sold out, sold out. You have entire lists of this. And you can plug in almost any graphics card and either the prices have increased, there's only a few left in stock, or it's completely out of stock. And you're having to fight for this on eBay and wherever you're able to get your hands on one. And this isn't great because people like me who want to build a cheap computer, well, <laughs> you're not going to find a $500 to $1,000 computer anymore. And who's making money? Well, NVIDIA and AMD and Intel and pretty much everybody who's producing this stuff right now. NVIDIA triples revenue forecast for crypto mining GPU sales. And for fiscal 2022, they're on track to surpass initial estimates because everything's going great. And they're above their $5.3 billion forecast from their previous end-of-year earnings call. Overall, demand remains very strong and continues to exceed supply while our channel inventories remain quite lean. We expect demand to continue to exceed supply for much of this year. We, we believe we will have sufficient supply to support sequential growth beyond Q1. You've had a lot of crypto miners purchasing their graphics cards recently in March. Cryptocurrency mining firm HUT8 announced the purchase of $30 million worth of NVIDIA graphics cards alone. That's just one company right there. That's crazy. And what is it being used for? Obviously mining. NVIDIA targets $150 million revenue from new Ethereum mining processor. Just a single processor that they're releasing right now. Woohoo! It's going to make them $150 million. Now, of course, NVIDIA has its own fair share of controversies, such as locking 
out crypto miners from actually using their chips. Mm -hmm. So AMD's kind of the good guy. NVIDIA's kind of the bad guy here. But uh, no worries because, oops, they unintentionally unlocked it. <laughs> so uh, that's all right. You can still use it. <laughs> Earlier this year, NVIDIA attempted to limit the hash rate on its GeForce RTX 360 GPU as part of its effort to differentiate its product offering. We're limiting the hash rate of GeForce that allows, so they're less desirable to miners than launching NVIDIA CMP for professional mining because they probably want more gamers because a lot of crypto miners have been snatching them up. And unfortunately, a developer driver inadvertently, unfortunately for NVIDIA, uh, included code used for internal development which removes the hash rate limiter. Oops. The driver has been removed. Yeah, great. NVIDIA originally restricted mining performance in an attempt to steer crypto miners away from purchasing the cards. The GPU maker seemed confident that its restrictions couldn't be defeated, even claiming it wasn't just a driver holding back its performance. It's not just a driver thing, NVIDIA head of communications said. There's a secure handshake between the driver, the RTX, and the BIOS firmware that prevents removal of the hash rate limiter. And oops, it looks like it is just a driver. NVIDIA clearly wasn't expecting to release a driver that would accidentally unlock its own restrictions. Well, that's kind of what you get. So, on top of what's been going on with the pandemic where PC part prices, pretty much everything from webcams to microphones to green screens, anything related to video editing, streaming, mainly for students who needed to have a webcam or for work. There was a lot of employees who never really used their computer outside of work and then suddenly they were forced to. So part prices started going up because of the pandemic and a lot of parts were made in China and then predict there was production limits, there was limits in logistics, there was a whole bunch of restrictions, there was a bunch of stuff, delays, and suddenly a lot of people wanted it, there wasn't enough parts, so the pandemic last year really started this. You also had most recently the Suez Canal, the evergreen that got stuck, and that unfortunately caused delays in hundreds and thousands of ships and their shipping routes, and maybe Maybe there wasn't a whole bunch of GPUs that were getting shipped because usually they have faster modes of transportation, but the parts to make all of this equipment, it's not coming from the same country. It's from all over the world. So it needs to get shipped out to China, to Taiwan, to wherever these GPUs, CPUs are being made. And the manufacturing companies are going to have issues with delays later on, and this will cause prices to inevitably go up. So you have the pandemic, you have a lot of people stuck at home, they wanna play video games. You have cryptocurrency that's been on the rise recently to crazy heights. We've hit 63,000, we've been above it recently, and we've hit over $2.2 .2 trillion. So there's a lot of crypto miners, there's a lot of new games coming out, there's a lot of people stuck at home. There's also tariffs, there's the pandemic, there's the Suez Canal, there's a whole lot of political stuff going on and all of these companies are making money hand over fist and they get to dictate basically what's going on there's not hundreds and hundreds of choices for gpus cpus it's all coming from the main monopolies so one of the largest things that's not really being discussed is the u.s tariffs with china and you've had a lot of graphics cards that have been affected by hundreds of dollars so for example the rtx 3090 is for 1979 up from 1799 and you have the rtx 3070 it shot up to 639 from 549 the tariffs come from the outgoing trump administration which imposed a 25 percent duty on electronic components imported from china in may 2019 affected products include gpus motherboards and addition to PC desktop cases, power supply units, and it was all delayed up until December 31st. So starting January 1st, yeah, that's when the prices started really to go up. Many PC manufacturers have been moving, though, to Taiwan and other countries outside of China, so maybe these prices won't stay up for so long. Tariffs, pandemic and production stoppage break in production, crypto demand always goes up when crypto prices go up. All these factors are causing the cars to double and in some cases triple in price. That is even if you can buy one. These prices are just insane. I can pay a mortgage, rent, or car note with these prices. So that's why at the moment I'm purchasing more 
of SSDs because I need to first of all back up my computer and I need to also have backups of all my files which for some reason Apple is not letting me back up my computer and also have backups of my files this needs to be completely brand new which is so silly and that and that external hell drive is completely full this one is almost going to be full pretty soon so we got to get a third one but it's still going to cost me a lot less than buying a single graphics processing unit recently Age of Empires 4 has been announced and it'd be so cool to play, but I can't with Mac. I haven't touched this in quite a while. I should probably load up Witcher 3, but I would really enjoy playing Age of Empires 3, the definitive edition, but unfortunately without a good Windows, we can't really do that. So <laughs> this is going to be the cheapest way to game. But outside of gaming, I need a computer for school because if I want to become a software engineer, I need to code and I need a decent computer that's not going to fall apart on me. And, well, unfortunately, hmm, maybe now is not the best time to purchase. But uh, no worries. These prices should go down in the future. For now, we have to avoid buying from the resellers. There is also a chance to make money if you do get a uh, graphics processing unit. And also, just looking at this, but the latest Xboxes, the latest Playstations, those too have actually been going up in price. It's quite funny. Uh, a lot of things have been reselling for crazy profits just because most of us are stuck at home and we're not able to get this. So that's today's video. And videographic crypto miners, well, unfortunately, many people are paying too much and it's not going to be profitable for them. So that's today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Avoid buying an Apple MacBook if you can. And we shall see you guys in the next video. Thanks for 750 subscribers. We're approaching 25,000 views and 1,700 watch time hours. We need to get to 4,000 to get monetized. And this is delayed, but we did fit 750. So thank you for these statistics. I'm super impressed with this. It is growing slowly, as you can see. But that is good. 